like in some other African countries, many Ethiopians believe mutilating little girls is good for them, particularly their marriage prospects. So people say when she grows up, my daughter will be unstable. She will crush items and never get her husband. So they say I have to circumcise her. 28-year-old Laila Shakur was herself a victim of female genital mutilation, but she won't inflict it on her daughter. And a growing number of Ethiopian parents feel the same way. Health center figures show there has been a drop of 90% in female genital mutilation case in the past decade. That is some achievement in a country where almost three quarters of adult women have gone through the ritual. Officials credit a determined campaign to change attitudes. Uh, so far, the health education for parents in the society so that they do not practice genital mutilation has been successful. We have even used different media to sensitize awareness about the danger of female genital cutting. In Ethiopia, uh, with the support of UNICEF and other UN agencies, uh, has been implementing uh, social norm changes uh, activities at the community level, where the community itself actually uh, is um, empowered to have conversation around uh, issues related to harmful traditional practices. Still, officials concede there is plenty of work to be done, and the government here has vowed to step up its attempts to stop the cutting. Grumjala, CCTV, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.